Hi. Hello. It's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up? What is up? What is up? Home Skillet Biscuit. There are no bad movies in Ba Sing Se. So I would just like to go on record and say that this movie made my ass itch. <laughs> it's the only thing that keeps me watching it. <laughs> like regardless of where it shows up, it cracks me up. Who has teeth, upper hoo-ha. It's just a loosely related jumbled giveaway bag of bullshit. Spoiler alert, when in doubt, the answer is probably M. Night Shyamalan. Indiscernible, unintelligible, torturously uneventful pile of cat. A quiet teen's life is shaken up when she's forced to be her arrogant neighbor's slave. A down on his luck Filipino man. <laughs> no, he's not. He's <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> he ne they never said he's Filipino. Granted, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like in the script. It's like, we're looking for like someone of Southeast Asian descent. Ty Lautner works. Does it make you feel powerful, Tim? Does this allow you to live out your fantasy? Blair Underwood. Sexy ass. <laughs> yeah, study. I'd be loved. To wow, I was about to make an Underwood joke. Let me continue. I don't think I need 365 days. Why? She has her new job, she's getting on with her life, and elsewhere, Harden is somewhere being a little bitch. Named Elsa and Clive. And I was like, yep, that <laughs> look like a Clive. But when she jumps, you saying this don't look like it would be on Mad TV. I'm sorry. Like somebody put a laugh track on it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Can you, I'm sorry. I had an image in my head. I had an image in my head where after she jumps, he turns to the, oh my God, no, no, Kendall, no, don't do it. It's too late. I had an image that he like turned around to the camera and was like, you think you had a hard day at work? I'm sorry. Sorely unconvincing. The greasy guy with the incel haircut. So get this, he is actually our main character. Right? Those all my favorite people and too. Uh, That's the thing. Plus Jason Derulo. And plus <laughs> Jason Derulo. In everything, in every endeavor, in every relationship he's in, in every song he releases, <laughs> Jason Derulo. Any success he has feels like a punch in my face. So I don't know <laughs> if we can qualify this as success. I am so happy this movie had Jason yeah. Derulo. <laughs> yeah, one dude gets shot. Young Ma over here. <laughs> Like, you good? <laughs> this nigga got a bullet wound. Luke. John. Hey. Corinthians. Corinthians. Galatians. Fucking Trevor. Hey. You know. You know. Hmm? Mrs. Mooney is over here cooking cats, all right? If she can make five pies with a cat. All right? Oh my God, cannibalism! Cinema, Hebrews, James, Peter. Be a hoe, but make it holy. They nearly smash on the sink in a public bathroom. That's how you get the herps. Get your hair braided by the wrong person. It's like they ripping it open to see what's inside. Trying to flip your cap open. What you thinking? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah. Don't put shit in my hands and call it a bonbon. Got me bent like a pretzel. We both going to jail today, girl. It's a bunch of stiff pelvic bones and, and uncomfortably awkward and ill-timed gyrations. <laughs> Oh, f kill it. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that is fucking <laughs> Don't touch me! What the <laughs> oh, it has a full set of teeth, n***a. That's fucking w no. Can you relax? <laughs> and over our Epps is outside of their door and looking like a pissed off kindergartner. Oh, did you put your time out? <laughs> Where have all our lesbians gone? 
You know what to do, gay Twitter. I'm crap about these whiny ass teenagers and their love triangle, and I want to be with you for. Bitch, I want to see Rosalie's story. Stephanie Myers. Miss Myers. Because that was around when her, her dead sister that died. <laughs> The dead sister that died who had passed on. <laughs> Sarah's dead sister who is dead, who was also deceased. Reaching for her dead sister who is dead and deceased and passed on and no longer with us. I get it, humor is subjective, but like, damn. Computer generated question mark? Why? It's a baby. You couldn't get, literally you could pick up, don't, but you could pick up any generic white child on the street. <laughs> What? <laughs> Clive's gonna f it, isn't he? He's gonna f it, isn't he? Tries to put that alien wop down. God, let me tell you, man, I don't place any bets. I don't plan on winning. And Bella somehow was able to get both of these attractive men to be completely enthralled. I would die for you, even though she had the personality of lawn clippings. You give me one reason why I shouldn't call the police and get a restraining order. I'll give you one, it ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> don't piece of paper, don't stop, no crazy. So what's your last name, lover boy? Wait a second, did she just forget her line right there? I don't know what you're talking about. So what's your last name, lover boy? <laughs> they didn't feel the need to edit that out. Ooh, the ghetto. Like she's dressed like she's hooking at Woodstock. Also, she tossed kind of like the like a white extra in a black exploitation film. I'm lit up right and hot to trap where you want me tonight, daddy. -o. She comes in in her aunt's gold lame wrap dress and some leprechaun shoes. What the fuck? <coughs> oh my God, that's the ugliest wig. That helmet ass wig, it looked like a Lego. Lego my ego ass wig. Ugh, it's so blocky. It don't move at all. What they use? It's blue magic. It's not it's not okay if anyone's talking to you like this, but it's certainly not okay for some ugly dude to do it. You got me messed up. You think I'm gonna let a ugly like no one. <laughs> but you think I'm gonna let a ugly dude talk to me like that? Absolutely not. He's been dead for two years in a ceiling. Not embalmed, not mummified. He's just been up in your ceiling for two years fermenting like kimchi. My dude is a sauerkraut of a human. <laughs> He's been up there curing. You could peel his skin off and make digga and you're up there like, oh wow, we just found a body. That is not funny. God. <laughs> That's not funny. We've chained her up. We've locked her away from the world. We maimed her. I maimed her. You had sex with our chicken foot experiment and it's my fault. Okay. What's your fantasy? Get back, my chick bad. How low can you go? Move, bitch, get out the way, and many more that the whole family can enjoy. Who am I to say? I'm, I I know not much of these streets, but I know that <laughs> this doesn't sound very convincing. You gangbangers that are really into movie reviews, let me know. Is the gang vernacular on 10? I don't know. Ah, ha ha ha. Field Negro. <laughs> Go forth with your nappy naps and your beady beads and be gone. If he not at least tossing you like a pizza, there is no reason to go through this. Is a psychopath. He is a murderous, bad, chunky bad boy. Can't be woke all the time. There are hours at which we sleep. Elsa finally gets the gist. And she says, I'ma leave this nigga to die. Like I get it. I'm not saying it's right to like kill people and drink their blood, but I definitely get it. You want me to believe that Taylor Lautner is playing someone with a rap sheet? <laughs> You want me to believe Taylor, this is very ugly, Lautner, <laughs> is playing someone with a rap sheet? Okay. Who's got my piece? My piece. I tried the good boy sitting the dope boy turning me out. Not the pussy being therapy. Not the pussy being refuge. Not the pussy warding off demons. Are you struggling with PTSD? Talk to your doctor about the pussy, SSRI. Cause that's one thing that racist white people do. As much as they hate black people, they always in <laughs> some black person's business. Your credit's low, blame Shyamalan. Corona? Have you heard from Shyamalan? I haven't. Follow the paper trail. Follow our white king, M. Night Shyamalan. Black test intolerant. But that mac and cheese hit different. And so does my large intestine. 
that's about to fall out of my ass. Uh, you didn't ask all that. What I'm supposed to be scared of? Ah, uh, the very apparent height and weight differences. My dude, he could eat you for sustenance. Two peas in a pod, that's not the saying. Killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> Feeding two birds with one scone if you're vegan. Anyway, sorry. He don't blink enough for me. My theory, I don't know if this is true, but the theory I have is that evil people don't blink enough because they're thinking of all the evil shit they wanna do. Kill that mofo, kill him! And he like, that's my dad. <laughs> don't let it fool you, fool you where? Don't. I get it, humor is subjective, but like, damn. Peddling pussy, canoodling coochie. What? You always wanted a what? I actually have some quotes from which I would like to keep forever in my personal mental Rolodex. I don't have my glasses, but ashtray, bitch. After all the sex and joy I brought to your miserable ass life, bitch, you owe me. Are you lost, baby girl? <laughs> Womanizer. Woman, womanizer, womanizer, womanizer. Oh, you're a womanizer, you're a womanizer, baby. Also, uh, that's a Muppet. <laughs> Can't wait until the weather warms up so I can go surfing. How about you surf on this giant zoo? Chop me up, daddy. I sounded so apprehensive saying that. Bring back leather pants. Hey Fenty, you always doing some stuff. Bring back some leather pants. Y'all got the man's bosters. Let's see some boy booty and some leather. Sorry, I'm off topic because there's nothing really to say about this movie. Forget my face. All I ask is be safe, wear a condom, stop spreading your freaking cooties. It's not just the corona that's the viruses that are going around. Just slapping me in the face with the proverbial balls of disappointment. What? <laughs> you wanna have a war in order to keep blacks away from the whites, then sneak across the border and meet me for coffee. Or a movie or something. Conservative white men in interracial relationships be alive. Boo, pick the new nigga. I'm so t Normalize picking the second option if the first option is not as good. First dude is like toxic and abusive and you just met another guy who got a yaoi face. Sings green finch and linnet bud. Knights and gay black bud. How is it you see? I played a rabbi. In a, in a play in college because all the white kids were taking all the main characters, so they had to give me something. Noah Sinta never been in a good movie. Noah Nabadabadoo. Noah Sinta Boo Boo. Noah Sinta Nooba Doo Boo. And Noah Sinta never gonna be able to play in an actual movie if he keeps doing this. It's his wife, bitch. His dead wife, it ain't bitch. <laughs> she keep forgetting she's supposed to be in pain. <laughs> She keep just <laughs> The Gorilla Grip 4000 rips his fingers off. Again, I'm trying to see the issue. I feel bad for her. I don't know what advice to give other than don't love these n****. <laughs> don't give them your heart, sis. What you want me to do? Just say him a boss of chocolates and tell him thanks for the memory. That's also cannibalism! Get your ass over here! You brought your kid outside to watch someone get shot. This ain't Disney, bitch, this the streets. Riff raff. Ah, uh, boo. Take that. Just a little snack, guys. Why is he so yoked? Do you see them veins? But sometimes you need a little crazy, all right? Crazy bitches get stuff done. This piping hot love affair of deep fried romantic goodness is presented by Kentucky Fried Chicken. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> never, I would never, I can't wrap my head. I'm short circuiting. There's nothing more attractive than a man not taking ownership over his behavior and his own emotional issues. Doubly sexy when he makes it the responsibility of a woman instead of, I don't know, growing the fuck up. Why is he so thick? When do you have time? Par parkour and people. <laughs> Parkourers, what do you call people that do parkour? Par I'm gonna call them parkour people because that just sounds funny to me. I don't know why. Park, park, park people, park, park, park. <laughs> I didn't ask if it was likely. I asked, was it reasonably possible that that could happen? No. Yes. No, it's not. It's possible. No further questions. What? Oh, the neo Nazi doesn't like other neo Nazis neo Naziing on his black girlfriend. That's love right there.
Anyway, she got her mane and her side to work together to protect her. And she got him to do it without being that particularly exceptional of a person. And she's not having sex with anybody. She is truly what I aspire to be. I ain't even mad. Boss chick moves. But write a book. Teach us how to do it. You get nothing, sis. Bad investment. Put your pussy in low risk stock. <laughs> get an IRA for your pussy. <laughs> My dude was breaking furniture. She wake up the next morning, pillow down all in her hair. He was ripping pillows and stuff. Girl, I get it. Maybe it is worth dying for. I brooding hot 25 year old teenager. Brooding hot 25 year old teenager. 65 year old adults trying to make a movie about 25 year old teenagers. Oh my God, I didn't sing the song. I brooding hot 25 year old teenagers. I have an EP that came out yesterday. <laughs> you don't die, you have nothing else better to do. You might as well pick up a fucking book. Flyless bed, jealous. We've lost you. Bob's American mouth. Oh, I fucked up, I know. I know, fucked up, I know. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. How can I get through to you guys? Oh my god, he didn't want me to suffer heart failure when he drugged and kidnapped me. What are you confused? Keep up, Jessica. They're coke smugglers for Christ. They deal drugs in the name of Jesus as ninjas. With his annoying social media girlfriend who I take offense to. Us social media people are not just blonde haired bimbos. <laughs> Put some bass in your voice and lift your head up. I'm tired of seeing your bangs. I know what your scalp look like more than your face. Ella considers baby names. If a boy, she was gonna name it EJ, Edward Jacob. Not her name and her baby after both of her dudes. Who the ghetto? White people love climbing on things. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, I, look. I went to a majority white university, right? They always climbing on stuff. They don't believe in gravity. It just looks so unseasoned, flavorless. Somebody throw a bouillon cube in there and see what happens. She smells this guy who's up on the mountaintop climbing up that bitch in Birkenstocks. I don't know what made me like, I, I, I think because when I was watching it, my first thought was like, you selling cookies, bitch? <laughs> Tears in my eyes. I am disgusted. You can kiss every part of my ass. You call for me from Egypt and you like, hey, you willing to die with us? I'm like, I don't even know this bitch. You lied to me, Mrs. Lovett. And she's like, I said she took poison. I didn't say she died. Act up, you can get smacked up. I'm joking, I don't find over a man. You see this hair? Expensive. <laughs> the day you catch me with my cute ass hair and my cute ass nails and my cute ass makeup and these nice ass lashes and this cute ass face. The day you catch me fighting over a man is the day you need to invest in quite the parka cause it is obviously a frigid day in hell. The worst actor on set is undoubtedly the black dude which weirdly enough makes me happy and let me explain because you know the whole thing that like black people have to work harder to receive the same amount of accolades there's something dare i say comforting that he's such a bad actor <laughs> like somewhat uplifting even that he was able to be black and mediocre and still got this job <laughs> is this advancement what do you call that Go to Egypt, meet that dude from Until Dawn. He was in other things, but that's what I know him for. The one that's like a hot gecko. Father Stewart brings him to get exercised by Manny and Mue. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
during which time he took up the sport of drinking the blood of would-be rapists. Hey, we all need a hobby. Your mom left. I've been so empty, so lost. That's what people on To Catch a Predator be saying. My life is going downhill and everything's awful. So I tried to have sex with a 13 year old girl. It's like those two things have nothing to do with each other. The weave is beginning to take hold, bold hold. I should make a lot more weave jokes. Unbelievable. That's it. That's all you're getting. I'd like for it to change. You know, all that abstinence bullshit. We all know who you've been saving yourself for. Somebody cue the banjo. <laughs> ew, ew. Bitch, what? No. Bitch. Ew. Ew. Is it the Colombians? Is it the French trying to roast me? It's because they're coffee beans. Ah! I know the face of disgruntled sexual frustration. I live here. I built the city. If you let me uh, clap your cheeks. These two dudes are just talking in a car about human centipede, recidivism rates, and bussy. Ooh, who cakes up? Doing with all that bakery, hot cross buns. They're so circular. All that ass in them khakis. I'm sorry. He has an ass on him. I'm sorry, side note. He's going through all this toxicity. He should be putting it down, putting her head through walls. <laughs> She getting lazy, musty ass sex and putting up with all this bullshit. What is with him and the neck dog? He's always like, what is, consenting is a different issue. But boo, boo. who again, reminder, looks like this now. God is so good. She attacked me like a Leo. See, now you in the hood, but you way down the block. <laughs> now you in the hood, but you way down the block. I, know, I have this irrational fear that at some point I'm gonna be out in the ocean and something and a stingray is gonna zap me in the pussy. <laughs> Harland Sanders, the new cook. I am speechless. Christmas Eve luncheon is, is ready for you to look at, Mrs. Montetta. Sorry. I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> this guy is being really sexual assaulty to her while she's pumping gas and she sprays it on him and says she's gonna light him on fire. Rebecca's out here doing what you bitches say you'll do. Jet Bean, Jet Lee Bean. <laughs> is it racist? I think the maker is an Asian dude. Yes. Jet Bean, you have an <gasps> In conclusion, I'm down with the pussy pinchers. Science is a marvel. We can really do some weird shit. People are gonna die if you do not give me- I don't care! Well, if only anti-maskers were only so honest and forthright. And um, I hate it. I hate it with every fiber of my Negro being. I don't even, I don't want to watch the credits. I just don't. What the hell was that?